Welcome back. Well, it's hard not to catch Olympic fever. If your family's having a great time watching the athletes compete in Sochi, this can be a great time to create a few fun games at home. Too. Yeah, and here with us now is family fun expert Donna Bazo, a.k.a. the lady with the alligator purse, with some simple and easy ideas to enjoy some quality time together. Great topic, I think, fun for right idea. now. You guys, isn't it such a fun time of year? It yeah. is. Yeah. And when the Olympics family. are on, I think it's a great way to spend time with your kids and just talk about what sport would you want to be in or what do you think of this or this part of the country there's so much education involved right it's definitely a, a gathering point for families you know watching the games and it's on the news and it's just so exciting and this you know and you could take it one more level I mean but even just watching it is, is great together time mm-hmm mm -hmm. so let's break down some of the ideas you have for how to bring the Olympics into our own home with our families the first one is tabletop curling sure sure how do you do that you know go ahead and make yourself a little curling board I, you can make it as big as you want um, uh, and you, that's the bullseye, yeah, the bullseye. There? Okay. and then anything will do you know I, I've, I've, I've seen people do it with bottle caps get this at the oh. craft store you can just decorate your own little um, you know you can do it with marbles yeah yes. you can go ahead and push toward I think that's, that's great. great to kind of simulate Simple, it. Yeah, good idea. you know, put it together in five minutes and and play with it for at least a half hour. Hour. It's a good way to. Spend why the did evening. you bring the the broom? <laughs> so you know, why not um, do a little you know hockey action with a little broom? <laughs> ball? Why not right in the basement? Yeah, yeah. I think that's a sure. great idea. You, you know, can set up some um, goals. Yeah, absolutely. Once the snow clears, maybe on the driveway, mm -hmm. but you know basement for now. I like that. That is cute. Yeah. I like it. How do we do ice dancing in our home? You know, if you do have a basement and you have roller skates, why not throw the kids in roller skates right. and have them come up with their own routines, you know, couples or singles. But you know what? Just big fluffy socks. Why not? You mm -hmm. know, it's really just about them coming up the, with their routine and everyone sitting and watching and maybe voting and just, you know, Finding a way to fold yeah. into the event. I'm going to set this down so we can see your face a little bit better. There we go. Okay, <laughs> I love sweep it. Up what about yeah. um, planning a progressive Olympic night with neighbors? How does that work? Oh, I love this. You know, give every neighbor a country. You know, maybe you're France, maybe you're Italy. We'd probably be Italy. Yeah. Uh, maybe you're Russia. <laughs> and, you know, go house to house to house. And, you know, even maybe, you know, I have these napkins here from the stationaryshop.com. You know, even, you know, cute. declare each family a team. We'd team be Team Basel, Basel and 81 that. High Street. But, That's you know, so neighbors cute. come in, they get food from the country maybe you can think of some activities from that country um that really cute, Bazo. Bazo. really cute you can just nice have them those got them online the stationery shop.com i found those Aren't that they is so, so cute, cute. I or love maybe that. if your home is russia you know you you make nesting dolls now i've seen you know, that's their big craft there i've seen i've seen um, blank ones available on amazon.com or just take clothespins and have the kids decorate something that, you know, something they would do in Russia. Mm -hmm. So you go house to house to house and visit all the countries. Or you could each make a different that's dish, yes. right, that's yes. like um, unique to that country. From that country, right. Sample it right. and share something that's unique and different. Right. I Hang love a that. flag and let all the neighbors in. Yeah. Cute. Another idea you have is to compete throughout the month with or ordinary tasks. Sure, How would sure. you do that? So it doesn't have to be, you know, broom ball or figure skating, but why not just put a little Olympic flair in anything you're doing? So maybe it's a book reading contest that month or who yeah. can get their chores done fastest or whatever you, get you do. You a gold medal. Train for a yeah. half marathon or whatever. You just go ahead and make it, you know, keep track of it Olympic style. You know, make a big Cute. chart, keep track of it on the kitchen wall. They have had the coolest Olympic wear. I know Ralph Lauren yeah. did sweaters so for cute. the for the athletes there this year, but it's kind of fun cute. To, to support your country and get some, some different, like, athletic wear. This one says speed skating um, in particular, which is huge here because we all know that a lot of athletes train and, and get their start at the Pettit Center right here in Milwaukee. Right, right here in Milwaukee. So this, I found this at prepsportswear.com. You can find, you know, sportswear pretty much anywhere. But, you yeah. know, yeah. get the kids in the I spirit. I this one, you know? too. I like the sparkles on these. This is so awesome. Fun. Yeah, so this fun. is super fun. Look that at that. That is cute. And, you know, you gear up, you team up, and, you know, you figure out a way to have fun with it aside from watching all the activities. Yeah. Really I think that's cute really ideas. neat. Even, you know, you say even just taking a hula hoop, having a hula hoop contest. Sure. I liked that one, too. Sure. Mm -hmm. Make it Something simple. simple. Right. And safe. Right. Right. Exactly. Not everyone's <laughs> into broom ball hockey. <laughs> you know Molly's got a son when she says, and safe. <laughs> See, we have girls. <laughs> we have girls in our house who are right. definitely more than figure you know, skating with fuzzy socks. Well, right. yeah, and with the girls, you also say you can do, like, crafts and different cultural things. Too. Right, right, yeah. So, you know, um, I mentioned the nesting dolls. I saw a really neat feature, um, you know, talking about this generation after generation teaching the art. You know, why not do something like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. You have great ideas. Thank I love you. it when Thank you're you. here. It doesn't just, have to be hard. Right, and just ways to connect with your kids, even if it's sitting down like we talked about and watching the Olympics yeah. on NBC, today's TMJ.
MJ for. It's a fun thing to do, and to follow your <laughs> sure. favorite athletes and see how they're doing. Sure, make it an event. You know, make it a yep. family event. Yep, I love that. The lady with the alligator purse dot com is Donna's website where you can find out more about her creative and fun ideas and ways to connect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Fun stuff, Donna. <laughs>